Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering file handling in C. In this video, I will cover what is file and what are various types of files and various functions and various operations of the file. And also I will explain how to read, write and close the file. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS update tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First, what is file? File is collection of records. For example, if you consider PDF file, PDF file contains some text information. We call this text information as collection of records or you can also call this information as collection of related information because we store only related information in our files and we store files in hard disk. Hard disk is permanent storage device. This is an example to declare a file. We declare file by using file tab along with pointer variable. Here I took pointer variable as A where star represents pointer variable. Next types of files. In C language, files are classified into two types. One is text file and another one is binary file. At first, I will explain what is text file. Text file contains alphabets, numbers and special symbols, which are easy to understand by human beings. For example, if you consider MS Word, in MS Word, we can write text. So we call it as text file. And in text file, we can write numbers, alphabets and as well as some special symbols. And if there is any error in text file, it can be eliminated easily. For example, if I do any spelling mistakes in text file, then it is easy to correct. In text files, all alphabets, numbers and as well as special symbols are treated as characters and each character occupies one byte of memory. If you consider this example, in this total there are four numbers. Each number is treated as single character and each character occupies one byte of memory. So total there are one, two, three, four, four characters. So it will occupy four, so it will occupy four bytes of memory. For example, this is text file. This text file name is my file and this file contains total seven characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven characters. So it will occupy seven bytes of memory. Next binary file. Binary file is combination of zeros and ones. It do not contains any special symbols or any alphabets. It contains only zeros and ones. Whereas text file is easily understood by human being and whereas binary file is easily understood by computer. It is not easy to eliminate errors in binary file. And in binary file, the integer value 1, 2, 4, 5 will occupy two bytes of memory. For example, if you consider in text file, in text file, each number is treated as single character. So it will occupy four bytes of memory. But whereas in binary file, this 1, 2, 4, 5 is treated as single integer value and it will occupy two bytes of memory. For example, if you consider this 1, 2, 3, 4, this is single value, it will occupy two bytes of memory. For example, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will occupy two bytes of memory and as well as 1, 2, 4, double 5, it will occupy two bytes of memory. A binary file always needs a matching software to read or write it. For example, if you consider movies, if you want to watch any movie, then we need VLC player in order to view that movie. And similarly, if you want to access binary files, you need matching software in order to open that binary file. Files are classified into two categories. One is sequential files and next one is random access files. In sequential files, data is arranged in sequence manner. For example, if you consider your rule numbers, data is arranged in sequential manner like rule number one, rule number two, rule number three, so on. And whereas in random access files, data is not arranged in sequential manner data is arranged in random way for example rule number one and rule number 32 next and rule number 44 next like that next one is file operations totally there are five major file operations they are first one is creation of new file second one is opening an existing file third one is reading file fourth one is writing file and fifth one is closing file in order to perform these file operations you need to know what are various file functions and as well as you need to know what are various modes of the file at first i will explain what are various file functions in order to open a file you need to use f open function and in order to close a file you need to use f close function by using get c get w f scan f and get s you can read file information reading file information means whatever the text that is present inside a file you can see the text on our output screen we call it as reading a file and by using put c put w f print f and f put s you can add text to our file Next various modes of the file. First one is R. R stands for read mode. By using read mode, you can only read that file. You cannot add any text to that file. You can only read that file. Next one is R plus mode. By using R plus mode, you can read and as well as you can write text to your file. And next one is W mode, where W stands for write mode. If you want to remove previous text and if you want to add new text, then you need to use write mode. This write mode will remove previous text 
and then it will add new text for example i want to add csc by using write mode we can remove previous text and then it will add new text to the file next one is w plus mode by using w plus mode you can read and as well as you can write data to a file and next one is append mode meaning of append is adding data at the end of the file already there is some data in my file i want to add new data then i need to use append mode if you consider this example already some text is present in my file like b text now i want to add new text at the end of the file then i need to use append mode by using append mode you can add data at the end of the file now i want to add csc so i can add csc at the end of the file last one is a plus mode by using a plus mode you can read and as well as you can append data to a file all these are various modes for text file now let me explain various modes for binary file it is same as text file first one is rb mode by using rb mode you can read binary file where rb stands for read binary and next one is rb plus mode by using rb plus mode you can read and as well as you can write binary file next one is wb mode where wb stands for write binary by using wb mode you can write binary file and next one is wb plus mode by using wb plus mode you can read and as well as you can write binary file next one is ab mode where ab stands for append binary already there is some information in my binary file now i want to add new information to binary file then i need to use ab mode by using ab mode you can add data at the end of the file for example already there is some information in my file now i want to add some more information at the end of the binary file then i need to use ab mode and last one is ab plus mode by using ab plus mode you can read and as well as you can append binary file normally how we create a file like we will go to notepad in my system and then i will write some text in that notepad then i will save that file with some name like file.txt this is how we create files but our topic is about how to create a file by using c programming now i will explain how to create a file and then how to add text to that file and also i will explain how to close a file by using c programming normally we can store values in c programming like int a equal to 10 we can store value 10 in variable a but now i want to store file in c programming but in c programming we cannot store files so here i can only store address of a file in order to store address of your file we need to use pointers and we will create file by using file type at first i need to write hash include stdio.h after that write void main in order to create a file we need to use file type file in capital letters in order to create pointers we need to use star star represent pointer variable i am taking pointer variable name as a after that write a equal to we can create file by using fopen function where fopen stands for file open i already said before by using fopen function we can create new file already if there is file present in our system then we can open that file now i want to create file in local disk e so i am giving address local disk e and i am giving file name as my file my file dot txt because i am creating text file now so i written here dot txt where txt stands for text file comma i want to add some information to this file my file dot txt so for that purpose i need to use mode that is write mode by using write mode we can add any information to the file semicolon whenever you write this line of code then this fopen function will create my file dot txt text file in local disk e now i want to add some information to this file so for that purpose i need to use if printf if print if by using if printf we can add information to the file open bracket this file is present in address a so i need to write here a comma you need to include double quotations and whatever the text that you want to write you need to write the text in double quotations i want to add information like my name is nagendra my name is nagendra close double quotations bracket semicolon whenever you whenever you open if print a function and you write some information by using if print a function you can add information to the file we can close this file by using f close function so write here f close and write address here address is a and then close bracket this is how we create a file we add text to the file and then we close a file whenever you run this program you do not get any output here but whenever you run this program you do not get any output but it will create file in local disk e after executing this program you open computer and inside computer open local disk e whenever you open local disk e you can see file that file name is my file because we given here file name my file if you open this file 
then you can see text that is my name is Nagendra. This is how we create file by using C programming. This is another program in order to read a file. Read a file is nothing but whatever the text that is present inside my file, I can see this text in my output screen. This is example program here I written file star a where star represent pointer variable a. After that I write a equal to f open. By using f open function, we can create new file and as well as we can open existing file. So now I want to open existing file. This file name is file.txt and this file contains information that is my name is Nagendra. Now I want to open this file. So for that purpose I give an address that is e local disk e and file name is file.txt. I want to read this file. So for that purpose I need to use read mode. In order to see this file information on my output screen, at first I need to create one string variable and then I need to I need to store this file information in this string variable. After storing this file information in string variable, we can see output. So in order to store file information in string variable, I need to take one string that is character and I'm giving variable name as b and I'm giving 50. Character data type along with array represents string. So now we create a string and size of string is 50. That means I can store up to 50 characters and now open while condition while fscanf by using fscanf we can transfer file information from a to b so here we need to write address a comma all these are strings so we need to write here percentage s comma b by writing this we can transfer file information that is my name is nagendra from file a to b here i written percentage s because all these are string characters so i want to transfer data from a to b until end of the file i want to transfer data until last character so for that purpose i need to write not equal to end of file by using whenever you write this end of file this fscanf will transfer data from a to b until end of the file whenever you write this condition then this character b will store file information this file contains information that is my name is nagendra so this character b will store information that is my name is nagendra it will just store information. So in order to display this information, I need to use printf. So for that purpose, I need to write printf. Whatever the information that this character be stored. Now I want to display this information. So for that purpose, I need to write printf percentage s comma b. Printf percentage s comma b. Whenever you write this statement, then you will get output as my name is Nagendra. Whatever the data that is present inside my file. I can see this data in my output screen. So output is my name is Nagendra. So at last we need to close file by using f close function f close of a. This is program in order to read data from a file.